Asma, and today we are making turkey wonton. I have made wonton on my channel before, made with shrimp and pork filling, which is the traditional type of wonton. But today we are going to change things up a little bit and use turkey as a filling. Now turkey wonton is very rare as a type of wonton, but since turkey is really healthy, it's really lean, and it's our everyday food, so we thought about making it into a wonton as well and change things up a little. So let's get started. For the ingredients you will need, 500 grams of ground turkey, 500 grams of wonton wrappers, 100 grams of celery finely chopped, one tablespoon of minced ginger, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of vinegar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, a pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of green onion chopped, and one teaspoon of white roasted sesame seeds. For the wonton wrappers, when you're shopping for them in a Chinese supermarket, there are two different types of it. So the first type is the one that we used last time for the shrimp and pork wonton video. It is slightly smaller, so we could hold less filling. Um, but today we're going to be using this type, which is slightly bigger, so it could hold more filling, and it's more white. But of course you could use any type of these wonton wrappers, it's just the difference between holding more or less filling. So while we're preparing the filling, I'm going to set this aside and cover it with a damp towel so it doesn't dry out. For the filling, we're using some fresh ground turkey. And for the vegetables, we're using finely chopped celery. And we only use the inside part of it because it's a lot fresher. And when you're chopping it, you want to make sure you chop it really finely because since the wonton wrapper is really thin, if you have really big lumps of celery, it might break it. Now to make the filling, we're going to add the celery into the turkey. Then we're going to add in the minced ginger, the salt and pepper, finally the sesame oil. Then we're going to stir this in one direction until it becomes sticky. When we're mixing this, you don't need to add any type of liquid into it because the fresh ground turkey is really moist. And when we add the salt to the celery, it will release a little bit of the liquid as well. So you don't need to add any liquid or any cornstarch to make it sticky. Now that everything is mixed together, it's been about 5 minutes. It is quite sticky, so we could stop mixing and start to make our wonton. There are many ways to fold a wonton. Last time I folded something different in my shrimp and pork wonton video. So if you want to know how to do that, check out my other video. Now to do this type, again you'll need a bowl of water to stick together the wonton wrappers. I have my wonton wrapper here and it's kind of a rectangle so you want the longer side to be facing you. Now we're just going to place some filling onto it right in the center. I want it to go across slightly. Then we're going to fold the top down. You don't need to squeeze the bottom. And then we're just going to dab some water onto each corner and fold it right over. Then you want to squeeze this really tight. And it doesn't matter if this you can still see through it, it's not going to come out. I used up all of my wrappers. I made about 40 wontons. Now we're ready to cook it. So prepare a big pot full of water and you want to have enough water for the wontons to have enough space so it doesn't stick to each other. In a pot I have some boiling water and we're going to add in the salt. Then today I'm going to be cooking about 10 wontons and we're just going to drop it in one by one. Be careful not to splash on you. And if you drop it in from the sides, there's less of a chance for it to splash on you. Just give it a little stir, and we're just going to cover it and cook it for about 5 minutes. Once it starts to boil, take off the lid so it doesn't overflow. 
and we're going to add it in about a half a cup of cold tap water and just wait until it boils again. While it's cooking, keep a close eye on it. As soon as it starts to boil again and all the wontons float to the top, it is ready. So meanwhile, we're going to prepare the sauce. In a bowl, add in the pepper, the soy sauce, vinegar, and if you don't like vinegar, you can leave this out. And finally, the sesame oil. It's starting to boil again. When it starts to boil again and all the wontons float to the top, it is ready. Now we're going to turn off the heat. So I'm just going to take a few scoops of the water as the soup and place it into the bowl with the sauce and take out the wontons. Now we're going to finally sprinkle on the sesame seeds and the green onion. That's how you make turkey wontons. These are a little different from a traditional regular wonton made with shrimp or pork filling. This is quite healthy though. It is really simple to make and you could eat it pretty much any time you want. So I hope you could try this out. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.